So after the resignation of, of the, the government of Boyko Borisov and Ye, uh, that was the, the, the first government that protest uh, uh, actually tried to, to collapse the, the whole system. Um, there was transitional government, new elections and a new government. The new government uh, was made by socialists and uh, the ethnic party of Bulgaria. Uh, the ethnic party is called uh, Movement for Freedom and, uh, um, and Rights. Uh, but it's actually a part, uh, a party of the ethnic Turks in Bulgaria. It's uh, usually the third or the fourth political power uh, in Bulgaria. <laughs> so the socialists and the, that party, they formed a new government. <coughs> and uh, on the tenth day of, their, of the parliament with the uh, majority of these two parties, they uh, made a big mistake. Uh, one, of the, one of the most uh, famous Bulgarian oligarchs uh, was appointed to, uh, uh, to the chairman of the National Security Agency and uh, four hours later uh, there were 10,000 people on the streets and that was actually the big mistake of the government. And then uh, the people just uh, from, uh, from uh, um, their message to the, to the politi politicians uh, to, to fix the mistake, the next message was resignation. And during one year of protesting, the resignation has come. So uh, the protests in Bulgaria, the second wave, I'm part of the second wave protests, again the second government, they were, uh, they started actually on the 14th of June 2013. So uh, uh, a month later, <coughs> Um, there was a big situation uh, with the police. There was a fight between protesters and police uh, because of uh, uh, actually, actually it was a kind of occupation of the parliament. We tried to block all the exits, exits uh, and the members of the parliament was, were inside the building. So the police uh, decided to take them out by bus through all the protesters, and uh, it was it was really scary because it was uh, during the night, and there were uh, between two uh, uh, between fifteen and twenty thousand people, and they tried just to to bring them out by bus through the protesters, and that that was a really big mistake. <laughs> uh, yeah, Need a big bus. so. Broken, uh, there were many broken glasses of uh, the bus, many broken heads by the bodies of the protesters. Uh, there was much blood, it was really scary. So, uh, then uh, the, the most significant part of the protest uh, was actually something different. It wasn't uh, walking to walking on the streets, that sort. Yeah, that was the beginning. But on 23rd of October last year, uh, a group of students, uh, with, <laughs> I, I am part of, the, of that group of students, we were 10, uh, 10 people, we occupied uh, the Sofia University, that's the oldest university, and the most prestige in Bulgaria, is the biggest and oldest university. It's based in Sofia, the capital. So we occupied the university, uh, and uh, we said we will stay here 
at the university, the university uh, will be closed to the resignation. Uh, actually, uh, we tried, but we left there just for a month. Uh, we actually lived there. It was uh, um, it was top on the news. It was uh, during during one month we were uh, first news. Uh, it was uh, really popular the occupation. We made a, a movement called uh, Early Rising Students. In Bulgaria, it's Ranobudite Studenti. So uh, there were many uh, uh, researches, and 80% uh, of uh, Bulgarian society supported our protest, I mean the student protest, 80%. Uh, so the acceptance was very high, and uh, what, what the occupation actually did, uh, the first professor of our university who uh, came to us and said, I'm with you, and supported us, later he became become transitional prime minister, also because our protest, because of the student, student protest. Uh, actually, we, we, we did an alternative uh, student republic. It was really, really, really like that, because we closed the university. It's a really big building. It's uh, in the center of Sofia, one of the biggest buildings in Sofia. We closed it. Uh, we uh, there, there, there were teams of students, uh, security teams of students. They were closing uh, all the gates of the university. Uh, nobody uh, actually. Uh, he had uh, access to the university. It was really closed, and inside were only students, uh, non-stop, 24 hours a day. Uh, we even had an attack from uh, contra students. Uh, they came in order to uh, bring bring us out, and there was a little fight. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, the occupation did, did many things with uh, work groups in order to uh, su suggest uh, poli uh, policies to the people, what we want, because everybody said what uh, you, can't, you can't just uh, want a resignation, you have to suggest something. Uh, so we try to, to plan uh, what, what we are what we want to 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 um, I don't know to uh, how we want to live after the resignation. So uh, the resignation has come uh, in July this year, uh, but before after the student protest. Uh, we actually uh, tried something another to because the the authorities are uh, you have to change the form of the protest. Uh, the authorities are saying, okay, you're protesting from the streets and then uh, at the university and then what? So. I think they are scared if you change the if you change the form of the protest, and that we that we what, what that is what we did first on the streets, then a student protest, then occupation, uh, then uh, some actors were closing theaters. So different form of protest. Uh, later we we did something another. Uh, we did a um, committee in order to be uh, collected uh, half a million signatures 
to be um, um, to be held a referendum about the elec uh, about the uh, electoral system, about obligatory uh, voting, electronic voting, and that sort of things. Uh, chairman of this committee of uh, ten people uh, was uh, again the transitional prime minister. Uh, we actually uh, collected half a million signatures for um, one month, but uh, the parliament refused to to. Uh, it, it, it refused to, to uh, hold the referendum. So, yes, the referendum was concerning uh, the rules of the elections, uh, about electronic voting and obligatory voting, uh, and the parliament refused to carry out it, the whole referendum. Uh, that was actually a form of protest because the parliament uh, was the old one with the government of the socialists uh, that were really protesting against, uh, against them. Uh, and meanwhile, the, the government resigned and uh, the chairman of the initial committee uh, became prime minister. Uh, yes, they, uh, from today actually he, he is not prime minister anymore, uh, but um, that is that is what what we what we did in Bulgaria, and some of my uh, um, analysis that I that I uh, that I tried to uh, do for me was that first uh, the civil activists are uh, are a kind of politicians. Because they are doing politics, we had to deal with politicians. Uh, that's not a cool thing, because we are, uh, me personally and my my colleagues uh, from the university, we are uh, I'm at, uh, how to say it. Uh, we are just students. And we never and we never had a deal with, with any politicians. And when they came to us from every party, there was a politician. Even even I I, I received some invitations from uh, political parties, uh, from uh, even the ruling now. Uh, they tried to buy us to uh, to do whatever whatever you you could uh, you could think about. Uh, and we received many, many invitations, many uh, even even things about money. Uh, they were, I think, they were crazy. So the people, what are, what are uh, something another? I saw. Uh, I think that the people are looking for something new. In Bulgaria, the non-voters are 50 percent. So half of the people, they don't want to vote, they don't go out to vote, and that it, it's a big problem, 50 percent. Uh, and if you if you ask more more than uh, many of uh, of my colleagues from the university, they'll say to you, uh, I don't know uh, uh, what to vote. Actually, I don't know. Uh, who is the right politician? I don't know the, which political party is for me, that sort of things. So they're looking for something new.